10 Amazing Archaeological Discoveries The job of an archaeologist can often be boring and tiresome, digging all day long and brushing away dust from stones only to find nothing. But sometimes the discoveries are so amazing that the archaeologists themselves become speechless. Welcome to 10 Amazing Archaeological Discoveries! At the end of the 19th century, a scientific archaeological expedition dug a ground hill and didn't expect at all to find what they found. As expected, there was a mass grave inside the hill, but the most interesting thing was revealed when they sit to examine the bodies. The first thing to pop into their eyes was that the majority of skeletons were very tall, about 2 meters high, and the most remarkable discovery was a horned skull. Not a single one, but most of the skulls had bone growths. Scientific research has failed to explain the skull's nature. In the Austrian town of Fuslamsee, archaeologists in search of Sumer clay pots found an object which looked like a Nokia mobile phone. According to the preliminary results, the supposed telephone was 2800 years old, and judging by the soil samples around the discovery, it was concluded that the telephone came from Mesopotamia, not Austria. Petrospheres, or stone balls of Costa Rica, discovered in the 1930s in the river Diquis Delta, amazed the scientists first of all by the fact that the tribes which used to live in the area were not able to create something alike. Yet upon their discovery, a lot of theories on their origin were set forth. The version that they were shaped naturally by water was rejected at once. The stones were made approximately at the turn of the millennium, but their purpose is still unknown. Anyway, some theories say that they marked the boundaries between different tribes' territories. Somewhat 2000 years before Alessandro Volta was born, Mesopotamia already had electricity, though not like electricity of today. The first known battery of 6 AD caused a sensation upon its discovery. That was a 13 cm jar with the bottleneck filled with bitumen and an iron rod with corrosion traces was wired through it. Inside the jar there was a copper cylinder with an iron stud in it. Filled with acid or alkali, the battery could produce the current of 1 volt. Scientists assumed that the battery helped to apply silver on a vase through electrolysis process. In 1936, during a tomb excavation, an Egyptologist Walter Emery discovered, among clay pottery, an object which is nowadays known as the Sabu disk. As it is evident from the name, the disk has a right round shape and reminds a thin stone plate. Upon the discovery, arguments about the disk's purpose multiplied. There were theories that the disc was a plate for food, but the shape was not particularly convenient. Another version, that it was a lamp, was also rejected. Scientists still failed to explain the purpose of the disc as well as the way the disc was made. In 1952, Danish archaeologists made a truly mysterious discovery in peat bogs in one of the country's regions. Namely, that was a body of a man who had lived in approximately 200 BC and was called the Man of Gabala. The most amazing thing was that the body was perfectly preserved due to the bog. It had nails on the hands and hair on the head. Only its face and skull were slightly damaged. Thanks to the well-preserved state of the body, it was possible to determine the cause of death the cut from the ear to the throat. The specialists also managed to find other injuries and even find out what the man ate before death. Moa is a bird species extinct in the 15th century which inhabited New Zealand. This bird was as tall as around 4 meters and weighed nearly 250 kilos. Archaeologists from all over the world know the cases when remains of these huge birds were found and the bird's appearance was reconstructed on their bases. That was before an expedition in New Zealand went to the cave system of Mount Owen. It was in the caves that the expedition discovered a mummified bird's claw. Its state was so intact that it was first assumed that its owner had just died, but then it was found out that the claw belonged to a moa bird. In 2013, a mammoth body was discovered in Yakutia, home to nearly a half of mammoth graves. It could have been an ordinary case, but for one thing, the mammoth's blood was fresh. When the scientists drilled the ice, they accidentally hit the mammoth's stomach and the blood went streaming from it. Apart from perfectly preserved and fresh blood, some parts were practically not affected by time either. Thanks to this discovery, scientific circles hope that mammoth cloning will soon be possible. Turin Shroud is a Christian relic, a 4-meter linen cloth in which, according to a legend, Jesus Christ's body was wrapped after his sufferings and death. Despite numerous arguments about the cloth's ingenuity from the religious point of view, the shroud represents an interest for science. For example, various researches are being carried out in order to find out how somebody managed to depict the man on the shroud, supposedly Christ. 
Turing Shroud is valuable to scientists from the scientific point of view. At the same time, it also became a revelation for believers too. King Shi Huangdi, Emperor of the Qin Dynasty, who managed to unite all China at the early age of 13, began his ruling with building his own tomb, the construction of which lasted for 38 years. It was at the age of 13 that Shi Huangdi had an idea to take soldiers to the afterlife. That was how the Terracotta Army appeared. This army comprises 8,099 full-scale terracotta sculptures of Chinese warriors and their horses which spent almost 22 centuries beside the tomb guarding their ruler. The Terracotta Army was discovered in 1974 and the excavation was carried out in three phases, in 1986, in 2000 and in 2009.